everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you the five best investment handbags in 2022. These are either handbags that are new to the market, that are up and coming, or on the contrary, handbags that have been on the market for a while, but which still represent tremendous investments in 2022. So it's basically like the opposite of a bag trends video. By the way, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in me doing a video on bag trends. I feel like I would love to do that. There are so many new and beautiful bag trends this year that I would love to talk about. So please let me know in the comments down below. But if you're looking for an investment handbag for yourself, then please keep on watching this video. By the way, really quickly before we start this video, as you can see, I'm sure my decor has slightly changed. That's because I've withdrawn a bag from over here and I've incorporated this beautiful bouquet instead. It's a bouquet of Forever Roses and they're from a place called Rose Forever in New York. By the way, this video is sponsored by them, so make sure that you stay until the end of the video if you want to learn more about the brand. All right, so the first bag that I would recommend is the Chanel 19 in either small or medium in a neutral color such as this one. So if you're interested in learning about my handbag, it is the Chanel 19 in size medium from the 22C collection in this beautiful beige color. So actually I wasn't really sold at first when this bag came out. I thought that it was going to be a trend. I think like a lot of people I was waiting to buy because you know, I love the look of it. It is very casual. It's a lot more casual than the flap. And I think that it is larger as well. It fits a lot more. So in a sense, it's just a lot more practical. But I wasn't sold on the fact that it would stay. And for me, this is a massive thing about handbags. But I think that this will stand the test of time now because if in 2022, this is still very, very much trendy. And as we all know, it came out well, da da da, in 2019. Um, it's already been three years and I feel like, you know, if it stands three years in today's world, then I feel like it will definitely stand the test of time. I also think that it is still at a semi-reasonable price point um, for Chanel. Obviously, it's not, you know, the prices of the flap quite yet, which is nice because you definitely get to, you know, save some money there. But I do think that this is a bag that will stay and this is something that you should acquire. If you're looking at, you know, resale values when considering handbags, this one will have a terrific resale value. So next up we have the Lady Dior and I would recommend the medium size in a neutral color. And as I don't have this handbag yet, um, I will go ahead and include pictures either here or here for you to see which bag I'm talking about. But you should definitely see what I'm talking about without the pictures because it is the brand's emblem. It's their like signature handbag that has been around for decades and decades. It's something that is known um, for in the world of Dior. It's very, very classic. It's really something that will never go out of style. And it's also something that, you know, we've seen like vintage versions of this bag on like resellers websites sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's a good sign in my mind if you find these types of handbags, um, these types of vintage handbags that go for so much money. It's definitely a good sign that this bag will be here to stay. Similarly, I also think that since it's the brand's emblem, they have 110% or 120% interest to keep this bag around for the next decades because you know it is their number one like thing that they're known for. So it's that's how they do their marketing. So for that reason, I think that you're not taking any risks whatsoever in getting this bag and I would highly recommend that you get it. I'm currently saving up for one actually. So next up we have a Chanel Classic Flap in either size small or medium. So this one is in size small with caviar leather and gold hardware and obviously in black. This has been my baby for probably the past five or six years. And I paid 3,000 euros when I got this and look at where we're now. This in my mind says it all. I know that a lot of people, you know, have come forward lately to say that these bags are no longer worth it, that um, the recent price increases have been way too much, that 
they would no longer buy these handbags and for me you know as unhappy as I am with that because obviously for me it puts these handbags almost out of my budget and makes it very difficult for me to get them from the boutique as much as I hate it and as much as you know I absolutely dislike the price increases it is in my mind what makes these bags worth it um, still worth it now it's because you will always always be able to resell these bags for more than what you've paid for and that is basically the definition of an investment handbag obviously this is black and so it's very easy to resell but if you also get like uh, bags in different colors in special colors that are highly sought after for example I have um, a medium flap in Tiffany blue I know that this one I don't even have to wait a couple of years to be able to resell it for a premium honestly this is the kind of bag that whenever you know it gets discontinued from the main boutiques you can go ahead and put it on resellers website for like more than 10k um, which you know is amazing <laughs> um, especially if you've just bought it and basically like worn it once or twice and then that's it just making like a profit margin of something like two thousand dollars on this type of handbag without having to wait says it all in my mind so next up we have another bag that i don't have yet so again i will include pictures either here or here and we're talking about the hermes picotin in size 18 or 22 so i think that you know both have redeeming qualities size 18 is super super duper cute it's like the cutest handbag that you've ever seen and then you know size 22 is a little bit more practical so if you want to have a little bit more in your bag than just your phone for example then you know size 22 is very practical for that reason so both have redeeming qualities and the way that I look at it is obviously Hermes bags have been popular for decades especially a Birkin or a Kelly but they have been very much harder to get especially since the pandemic because they have been produced uh, a lot less than normal so that makes sense um, and so for that reason you know these other Hermes bags have become trendy or popular or have become kind of replacements um, if I can say that of Birkin and Kelly bags and so for me the Picotin actually does precisely that it's kind of like the replacement of these bags that are even less um, attainable than before so for example the um, picotin can be available on the website uh, you can just click if you're lucky enough they are not available very frequently and they're not available for a very long time it's probably like half a second or something or at least what feels like half a second but technically you can buy them online which makes them easier to get um, I've also seen a lot of them on resellers website for a lot more money than the retail price so it sees you know brand new in box type of things that um, I think that the 22 for example um, retails for like 3,150 something like that and I've seen these bags go for like north of four thousand dollars so obviously that tells you that you know if people are willing to pay a premium to have these bags it's bags that will be here to stay and for my last pick, I've also selected a handbag that I don't have yet. So again, I will include pictures either here or here. And we're talking about the Louis Vuitton Capucine in size MM. And again, I would recommend a classic color such as black, gray, all that good stuff will be perfect. And the reason why I would recommend this bag as an investment handbag is because, you know, most LV bags are priced around $2,000, $3,000, $4,000. And this one is well north of $6,000, so it's one of the most expensive handbags that you can get at LV. It pretty much represents like the top probably 10% of the brand. And so for that reason, I think that this is kind of the emblem of the top of the brand. It's a bag that has been around for a really long time. I actually remember looking at it a couple of years ago when it was $4,000. Now I would really like for it to be again $4,000, but I have missed my chance as you can see. And so that's also a good way to know if a bag is an investment. If you remember looking at it in the past and the price was like a lot less and you're still considering it now, you're still thinking about it and the price has like increased by a wide margin, then you know that, well, it is here to stay. And now let's talk a little bit about Rose Forever, which is kindly sponsoring this video. So it's a brand that does preserved flowers, mainly roses. And the one that I chose is this beautiful black velvety type of fabric, very, very soft. 
box um, and then it has the white roses over here. I absolutely love the contrast of black and white. For me, it really reminds me of the Chanel boxes. As you can see, there's one over there. So I thought that was the perfect reminder of that. And I love the fact that um, you know the round shape fits perfectly in my decor. I think it's the perfect size for me. But obviously they have a lot of different models on their website. So you know, even if you don't like this and you prefer to get something more classic like red roses, they also have that in case you don't like red roses. They also have like pink ones, etc. They have a lot of different colors, a lot of different shapes. So I would definitely go ahead and recommend for you to check them out. So I will go ahead and leave all of their information in the description box of the video so you can go ahead and find that out. I also do have a coupon code for you which gives you $15 off any combination that you may like. So I will also go ahead and leave that in the description box of the video. But again, thank you so much Rose Forever for sponsoring the video. So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope that it was informational and beneficial for you in case you were looking at acquiring an investment handbag this year. As always, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one!